We're kicking things off today with a round of wacky headlines in a segment we like to call, What the Health? <laughs> this first one is pretty cute. We all know a sunless tan can be a safe alternative for getting that bronze glow without exposing yourself to harmful UV rays. But apparently that tan in the can can sometimes cause havoc. Imagine going to check on your child, playing with his friend down the hall, you open the door, only to discover them covered in dark brown? Tanning lotion? That's what Billy Fotheringham found when she came across her son Kyle and his pal Leo stained in her fake instant tan lotion. The boys had their own toddler tanning session that ended up in hard to wash off brown patches. Despite the mess, Billy couldn't resist posting a video of Leo on the phone, showing off his new glow during a chat with one of his aunties. You got a fake coat on. But is this baby boy bronzing a blast or a bad idea? <laughs> that is hilarious, but can you, can you imagine the kid, he has his friend over for a play day or something, and then the mom has to pick him up and go, well, I just have to point one thing out. Uh, <laughs> Before you pick up Junior, that... I love this. This is that horrible moment as a mom when your kids are suddenly really quiet, and you're like, where did they go? What did they do? And then you walk in and you find this. I can see like a moment of just abject terror. When and that you know happens. how kids are. They love, they love to mimic what you've done. Maybe they saw mom you know, putting on her self-tanning and said, ah, what the heck, we'll give it a shot too. Well, so this is interesting. So self-tanner is made from a chemical called dihydroxyacetone. And what it does is it actually stains that dead outer layer of your skin. And so this is gonna be temporary. It's, it's cute, it's fun. This is not necessarily something I would recommend for a three and a two-year-old. Um, we do know that you shouldn't really apply it on mucous membranes, but probably a pretty harmless <laughs> they'll, thing. They'll be okay. Yes, they will be fine. And worst case scenario, if your kid comes in with a fake tan like this. Actually, interestingly, chlorine in pools breaks this down. So you can give them a dip in the pool, you can use baby oil. Just The key is actually to just very gently exfoliate. You can even make your well, own Well, there's, there's a science to this. Remember that going in the pool, chlorine will have an effect on it. That may leave streaks too. The irony is that most people want a fake tan to go hang out at the pool. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> and, and that's so they're there laying with their fake tan, and there's no and SPF. Hot, yeah, well, exactly. They really like their tan, so they don't want to go swim. Well, Dr. Orton raised a really important point, and actually we should mention this, which is that fake tan spray tans like this from dihydroxyacetone confer no UV protection. So this Zero. is not a base tan. This is you not something think. that's going to protect mean, you. It's, so it's, don't, don't assume it does. I'm not surprised that some people would think that, that it's, it's darker, it's, it's covering the body, but no UV yeah, protections. Right.